Okay, you guys, so tour time down here at Rose Harty. And boy, oh boy, that was well worth the journey, that. That really was. We're only about four or five miles from Fraserburgh as well, where we're wanting to go. So, let's have a look around here, you guys. And then for, you know, the next vlog that we share, we'll do the, fr the Fraserburgh job, you know. But like I said, you guys, um, you know, we'll be doing a lot of these, and we'll probably do the Revival ride again actually you know and incorporating the ones that we maybe missed along the way you know we'll just be doing the main places but anyway let's have a look how beautiful is that like all these guys is we've got prawn mackerel boats a lot of crab boats in there as well look at all the creels and hopefully you're seeing as we go through all these different places that um you know this is just the the, the same in almost every harbor you know all the creels and Bits and pieces. There's a fellow biker over there, look at that. Yeah. Let's just go up on the wall, let's have a look. So I think we did a, wasn't it the Banff Harbour? It was very, very windy. I wasn't overly keen on being up there. But let's have a look at this. There's a big harbour wall over there as well. Maybe that's just a sea break, you know? But let's go and have a look anyway, you guys. Yeah, so Rose Harty. Normally we try to find out, you know, where this uh, church building would have been. You know, the McKendrick used, but you know, sometimes it's fishermen's halls, sometimes it was open air. Mm. It's quite difficult to probably figure out where they are. I bet if I, you know, if I had time to ask the locals, I'm sure they could tell me. I'm sure there'd be some folk that could tell us. Here we go. Yes, the tide's obviously way out today, you guys. And sorry about the camera work, but I'm just going to watch where I'm going. <laughs> oh, I wish you could smell the sea air. But guys, like I said, you know, I've had a lot of sort of hospital stays over the past while. I know what it's like to be housebound in a hospital, you know, and I, and I always hope that these things, you know, any of you are watching just now, just feel a part of this, you know. That's, that's, what, I, that's what we want. Hello, chaps. Oh, they're all getting some food. So let's have a look now. We're sort of getting to the sort of head here. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, isn't that beautiful, you guys? Look at this. I know one of the guys there was the Huntress. Huntress 2. I think that skipper's knocking about here somewhere. Relentless. I mean, can you go wrong, you guys? What have we got there? Janali, it's Fraserburgh again. That one's Rose Harty, Fraserburgh, Sandra too. Right, let's get down and have a look around. There's a wee set of steps here. Yeah, see these tiny wee steps? Ugh, because of the great big bike boots, you guys. <laughs> I've got to go down it a little bit on my bum first. But here we go. These creels, these are big creels compared to what they you normally see, you know. Goodness, we look all brand new as well. So basically, you guys, just for those of you that don't know, you know, they, they put the, the bait in that orange bit there and the guys pop up and down they go. And that's pretty much them stuck. Gonna be on somebody's plate. But let's get right down into the... Look at that for a coastline, you guys. They're beautiful. These boats are obviously quite safe in this part here, you know. I mean, if the wind was coming this way, they'd be bouncing around a wee bit, I would have thought. But it wouldn't be good just to have a boat that size, you know. That'd be great. And as per usual, you guys, let's see if there's any fish. Sometimes you catch the odd fish just roaming around, but none today. Yeah, so I like walking along first, you know, because there's always a sort of different view on the way back when you're doing these tours and vlogs, you know. So let's have a wee look. Right out the water's edge this time. That's the harbour wall we just walked across there. Now we're walking back towards the motorbike. It's over there. Now, I've either seen that shamrock boat before or it's just another shamrock. I can always remember that one for some reason. The guys around, look at that lovely wee thing as well. Look at that. Look, and he's got a steering wheel on his, uh, his throttle there for you know for maneuvering about. It's beautiful. 
That FR106 seems to be quite a new one by the looks of things. Yeah, and these ones here, guys, these are sort of more for mackerel. You know, the guys can drop down their, their lines, you know, loads and loads and loads of feathers and grab lots of mackerel. It's actually mackerel season just now, and I haven't even been out yet. But never mind. We've well, also got Miss Molly, Compass Rose. Very quiet, you guys, you know. But I mean, guys, even at this stage, I'm still on surgery recovery. There's no question about it. And stuff like this, it just uh, makes a huge, huge difference to the whole thing. Oh yeah, look, here we go, guys. These little lures. All the red lures on the lines, look. <laughs> Copy the guys, look, they just use red lures and that's it. Look at that. Mackerel stripper. Yes, yeah, so I bet you when the, the line comes back up, all the pooks will be bouncing out of their mouths just there. I would have thought. Oh, so got, oh look, there's a kind of sailboat. The real thing, proper wooden sailboat. What's this guy got a 3.5 backup engine? Ours is terrible, I think ours is like half a horsepower or backup engine, so I think it's actually no use. Yeah, you guys, and I think now that we're here, we might as well hit freezer better. Absolutely. Definitely for the next vlogging tour since we're out here, you know. We've got a full tank of fuel, I've got plenty of painkillers down my neck. <laughs> Let's get up over here just to sort of have a little finish off and look around. Look. Now you see if I'd waited over there we could have watched that guy popping in with his boat. But never mind. Yeah, the reason why I just wasn't want to make a too big a journey today, I'm still not 100 percent But guys, we're just so close to freeze about and peter head, it's like a waste of time, you know, if I was to drive home and not do one. So I think that's where we'll head off to. Is that next, you know? Yeah guys, this is the place, the Rose Hearty Revival. This is where it was. It's certainly, I think this, is this number six? I think this is number six of our seven, I'm sure it is. Okay, look at that slipway here. Now guys, we can actually get, it's about 70 pounds a year. We can actually get um, permits, you know, a license to launch off of these slipways, you know, like the, the day jobs. Obviously the tide would have to be in here, but we could use that slipway. And I reckon that would make for some ace uh, vlog and tour videos for some next year, you know. Once we've got the old boat done and stuff, I'll we'll just take the keys out. I doubt very much anybody would steal it here, but best to keep in good practice. Yeah, it's just one last sort of wander, you guys. And I think this time I'll, I'll shut my mouth a wee bit, you know, and let you just have a wee look around, you know. Sort of take in the view and the atmosphere, you know. Oh boy, that's a bonny bike, that. Just give you a wee look around for the last bit. names for boats here. Her one's called Dusty. So another freezer for our boats again.
be a boat that lives in here, you must be out and about. It's a shame there's not a coffee place here, we're going to sit and have a cup of coffee, you guys, you know? and lots and lots there, look at that. You must be able to put even more sort of multiple strings of uh, crab pots, you know. Let's see, is this a little? Oh yeah, it is. Does it get any better? Rarely. Really, it gets better than that. So let's yeah, let's get walking back towards the bike. So I think this is the one I came down on earlier. So if I head back up again. What was it, you guys? Was it that red boat that came in first, wasn't it? He was just in a little while ago. Right, just remember we're at home. Right, so guys, I think off the Fraser Barra we go, which is the last one in the Revival Ride series, but now I'm going to do a little bit more filming while we're out here as well, because it'd be a complete waste of a day, you know, well, it wouldn't be a complete, but it'd be a bit of a waste of a day. So I head down to Fraser Barra, and that place is big, you guys. The harbour's big and everything, you know, so I'm pretty much, I think, we'll, we'll start the vlog from, from here and just head straight on to Fraser Barra. We will, eh? Let's see what we can do. But guys, listen, thank you so much for now. Absolutely brilliant. Thanks so much for watching. And I certainly, like I said, I hope you, you feel part of it. You know what I'm doing these things, you know. And uh, yes, yeah, so we'll head on down to Fraser Barra now. Possibly Peterhead as well, actually. I can't come to think about it. We'll see. And especially when we're going away down to Fraser Barra. I'd love the kids to be there so they can see it, you know? Yeah, we'll get there. 